You guys see that? You see that? 83,000 gems, you see that? You wanna know how I got 83,000 gems? You wanna know how I got 83,000 gems? Stay tuned. There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Robbie here, and this is a DC Legends video. In this video, special report, doing a, a special drop for a video because I keep trying to find a space to put this video to show you how I got all of these gems. It's not even really like a big secret, but I'm just trying to make you aware of it in case you are not aware of it. Um, so I'm gonna get into that. First things first, I've heard the calls for the Reverse Flash in-depth guide. I have Mera in-depth guide, and I have um, Brainiac in-depth guide coming. Uh, then you'll have the flash versus the reverse flash video uh, that I, I put a poll up for you guys to vote who I should go versus Wally West, you know, flash, whatever, whatever. In the end, the flash won. So I'm going to do a flash versus um, reverse flash. And then I'm going to do a reverse flash in-depth guide on the back of that. I did a flash in-depth guide damn near a year ago. I don't know if I'm going to do another one and maybe revamp it. I'm not sure. But reverse flash will be coming after the flash versus reverse flash video um then last but not least uh brian hughes i'm gonna address your question that you put up like 12 hours ago that's kind of what got me to go ahead and say hey, there's too much stuff i gotta do it i'm gonna get to a couple more of your comments and then on instagram i'm gonna go through a whole mail back so you guys can just see if you see that i've commented and like about like like and heart your comment then it's on instagram and that's where that mail bag is going to be so now let's get into this very very quick video I got 83,000 gems, um, and it's basically, you guys aren't going to, some of you will be able to, some, some of you will be able to get more, some of you will be able to get less, but it's kind of using the tap joy thing, which, let's just be real about it, number one, I even had to contact them after I accomplished what they wanted me to accomplish to get them to release the gems. They didn't get released. Oh, I got 157,000 gems. Um, I got to figure out where the rest of those are. Anyway, so what I did was um, basically, and there's another one here that I wanted to show, and I thought it was up here at the top. Let's uh, view more and see. All right, so I was able to find it. I just had to go to the menu and go to the reward status of a, certain, a few certain things. Now, the reason I was able to do this was because I am already a Rage, or was. I used to make Rage Shadow Legends content. Um, I had an account for like a year. And so in this thing, and it's in German, but when it says um, Leiden Splinter, that is a Void Shard. So I had to open up five Void Shards. I already had some on an account that I had just stopped. I, I, like, I stopped that account like a year ago. And so I had some sitting there, downloaded the app. I got the gems from downloading the app. And then I went ahead and opened those and went ahead and got all the rest of those gems. Now. Some of you are saying, I'm not a Ray Shadow Legends player. Same thing that I did with that. The reason why I had that idea was because I was watching, I was doing the little promos that you get for the gems. And then I saw on one of the promos for State of Survival, which is a zombie game I had no real interest in playing. Um, they gave a promo code. The promo code gave you a bunch of resources for me to boost up all of that stuff up until like level eight, nine or 10 or whatever. So then I was able to collect gems based off that. I did not purchase anything as you can see there, but I got the headquarters up to level eight. So I got 471 gems based off that. So basically I got 500 gems because I found a promo code online, put it in, just did the real quick upgrading stuff. And then I got the gems. Same thing would go for Ray Shadow Legends, especially if you're a new player. They give you so many resources at the beginning of that game. All you would have to do is go there and they have different promo codes. If you Google, you can Google um, Ray Shadow Legends promo codes. There are website and state of survival promo codes. There's another one here. Um, it's Rise of Empire. I've played that game forever ago for a very long time. And so those gems should be coming due, but you go look for those promo codes and they're quick. You get some promo codes that usually re like refresh like every two weeks, three weeks, you'll get new ones. <clears throat> Especially Raid Shadow Legends. If you are a new player to Raid Shadow Legends, they give you void shards. They get like in the very, very beginning, they'll give you a few. So all you really have to do is download the app, go through some of their like 
their um, tutorials or whatever, let them give you all the shards because they're, what they're trying to do is get you to stay in the game. So they give you a bunch of shards in the beginning. Get one of their promo codes as well. I think they have like two that are active right now. Get like some of their promo codes, put those promo codes in, get more of those resources, stack up all of this stuff that you'll get. And then I, as soon as they gave me these rewards, I uninstall the app. Because I'm not, I'm not going to get two more Void Shards based on, without paying for it, because of how deep in the game I am. Once you're deep in the game, then you got to really, really grind. It's a, it's a terrible grind. It's a very money-grabby game. So, you know, buyer be warned, you might like it, and it is a fun game, but they want you to pay for it. They make you pay a lot of money to play that game if you want to be at any kind of level without having to do it for like five years first. So, be warned on that one. But if you haven't played the game yet, or if you had it, just go back and return to it. Like I said, I did that for a while, went back to the game, opened up the shards that I had, got my stuff and dipped. So there you go. Go to any of those games in the in the tap joy list. And I will say this just as a bit of advice. I'm in Switzerland, so our promotions are going to be a little bit different. But when you run into the ones that say like a survey or something, ignore them. You get like two gems for like four hours of work. Don't even bother with it. Find the games that are there. I think there's another like poker game down here somewhere. Find the promo code online on Google. They have them all over the place because they want you to play their games. They'll give you all the resources. These gems are part of a false economy. You can't, if there's no inflation. There's no saturation of the market. So they can give you as many gems as they want, especially if they don't give a damn about DC Legends. They're just trying to get people over to their game. So use those promo codes, exploit them, Get your gems and get out. So that is how I got 83,000. And the more I think about it, really check out Raid Shadow Legends if you have it. Really check it out if you have not played that game yet and go and open up those shards. All right, so now there is that. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and address a, Do I? what do I have here? Do I have a Red Alerts available? Yeah, so I can just run something on Red Alerts real quick. While I talk about what Brian Hughes said, there's another thing that came up. And basically, today our reward was 15 uh, frags from ICE, right? Which, uh, I ain't got a problem with it. Until Brian Hughes gave me this comment where he says, Bro, please tell me you noticed that today on the monthly login, um, bonus uh, bonuses, they were supposed to give out 1,500 gems. And instead, they gave out 15 frags of ICE. Please tell me you noticed that. I had not noticed that at all. Um, I feel like I'm going crazy because no one else is saying anything, but I have a screenshot from the beginning of August that shows that every Saturday this month, we were supposed to be getting gems. And now they switch the reward so they, they don't have to give us gold or gems. He, he kept saying gold, but I just put gems in there. Um, I did not know that. I did not know that. I didn't even pay that kind of attention to it. Good catch. And that's weird. That is very weird. I don't know why they would send us frags instead of the gems. Why not just give us gems outright? Like, I mean, again, like I said before about the whole promo code and all that other stuff, it's a false economy. If you're giving us 1,500 gems, truth be told, if you were going to leave the game or stay in the game, those 1,500 gems weren't gonna really make that difference anyway. It's just a nice thing that they do every, like, every month giving us more and more gems to keep us interested in the game. So I don't know why they would change that to ice frags. Um, plus there's this whole issue going on with I mean, there's so many bugs in the game right now that I'm even starting to notice and it's starting to frustrate me. Um, the whole Cyclone, no animation thing, that's really weird. The whole um, Black Canary being able to stun under debuff immunity, even though she's not supposed to be able to. The whole Spectre now, when he's stunned, he'll steal and he has a teammate die, he'll still go off. I've had a stun Spectre start to go off. There's so many bugs in this game right now that is absolutely infuriating. Let me go ahead and run another match. Oh, there's a Terra and a Flash. I don't, ooh, that's Cupcake, eh, why not? Because it's not really about like teaching anything, I'm just going through it. So yeah, I had not noticed that. Thank you, good catch. Um, I want my gems, bro. Uh, next, Greg Marshall. New season of Harley Quinn is out now on HBO Max with new episodes dropping every Thursday. Thank you, I love you. I've been looking for that, looking forward for that season for the longest. What I tend to do is like wait and then try to watch the whole season, but I couldn't help myself. So what I'm gonna do like after this is start watching Harley Quinn. And then Lynn Rose. After Lynn Rose's comment, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these on IG. Um, haven't heard from my day one Lynn Rose in a minute. Missed you. Unreal. 
Uh, this was on my Batman vs. Canary video. Unreal Canary Lee led teams murder Terra teams. I don't even have an issue with running her Spectre Terra Azrael teams all the time and I beat them easily. So she has Canary lead, Etrigan, Raven, and Supergirl. To her point, the problem that I was having with Terra in that video specifically, I kind of corrected my approach after the fact. The problem that I was having with that was that I was trying to run her in evasion comps. And when I was trying to set up the teams, that is why it was I was having such an issue. She is not really an evasion. I mean, evasion is one of the many things. And I had like, um, I can't remember, LeBeau, LeBlog, and a few others, uh, Dr. Dark, they all came forward and they were like, look, yeah, you're focusing on evasions a little bit too much. She has so much other stuff that you can use her for that it's, that it's dumb for you to stay on her. What I've done since I got those 83,000 gems, as you see, is now down to like 20,000. I spent a lot on blue rings. Um, I even got a couple of her packs from the packs where I say you never, never, never buy them. I went ahead and got them just because I felt fancy and I had some money, so I burned it and I feel stupid for doing it now. Um, well, money, I had gems. Um, but I went ahead and took her RB1. She's incredible. I absolutely love her. She is one of the best tunes in the game right now. I don't know if I would put her top 10, but I'm, I'm loving playing with her. So in any case, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish like reading some more of your comments and everything over on IG. So check me out there. There's a link below. Thank you guys for watching all the way through, and I'll see you next time.